a majestic star-forming region of the Eagle Nebula. A stunning view of a spiral galaxy. These incredible pictures were produced by Hubble, the highly successful space telescope. With no atmospheric distortion to overcome, it can easily see objects millions of light years away. This April 2008, it celebrated 18 years in orbit. During its working life, Hubble has taught us an enormous amount about the early formation of stars and galaxies, but because it's an optical telescope that works in wavelengths visible to the human eye, its scope is limited. Named after the boss of NASA's Apollo program of the 60s, the James Webb Space Telescope uses infrared to see through clouds of dust to distant objects whose light has shifted to the red end of the spectrum. To pick up infrared radiation, JWST has to be in a cool, dark spot one and a half million kilometers from Earth. It operates at minus 240 degrees centigrade. JWST will carry four instruments, two of which are being built in Europe. At laboratories near Oxford in England, they're testing part of the telescope known as MIRI, a mid-infrared camera and spectrograph. This is a hugely sensitive device that should allow for some groundbreaking scientific work by taking very deep images of galaxies and looking for debris disks and planets near stars. MIRI is also able to detect some of the chemical elements of objects such as methane and carbon chemistry in the planets and debris disks around young stars. JWST, with its massive 6.5 metre mirror and sun shield the size of a tennis court, is the largest and most complex space probe ever built. Soon after launch in 2013, it'll begin unravelling the mysteries of the beginnings of the universe. It's predicted that we're only a decade or two from uncovering the origins of the universe. The new James Webb Space Telescope could help bring that discovery even closer.